Hello and welcome to the Busy Bug Homestead. So today I'm going to do my potato harvest, which has been a um, process I should have probably done sooner, but it's been so miserably hot out here. So I haven't been able to get out here and do it, but today I'm going to. Everything has died back for the, the potato greens. Um, we've lost all of our flowers and I think it's time to just dump this bucket out and see what we ended up with. So here is our bin that we put together in the spring and all of it has started to die back. We just had a bad windstorm come through and kind of break some of the stems on here plus my fence fell over on top which didn't help but we are going to just dump it out right on this cardboard and then I have my harvest basket and we're going to load it up and see what we get out of here I'm pretty excited because this was a test for me this year and if this is successful this is how I will be planting potatoes every year um, so let's get started with it see what we got so just as a little refresher this is the Potomac red that I got at a local garden center from for me uh, and I planted them in a circle and just kind of, I plant them a little thick and then I mulch them up with the chopped straw, which is the farm straw. I will put the link in the description if you're interested in the straw. And I just kind of kept mulching it up as I saw um, where a potato might possibly form. I just kept adding some more mulch and the wind has blown it around a little bit. So, so I've lost some of my mulch and uh, just because I use a really wide squared fencing to kind of keep the mulch in, I did wrap it in some of my extra net fabric that I use for protecting my cabbages because I was no longer growing cabbage so I didn't need it at the moment but we're gonna dump it out and I am excited to see what's in here I'm gonna start by removing this cage I put on here so we can easily remove it and dump it out as you can probably see behind me my yard is extremely weedy it's been hot and I am NOT a big fan of being out here when it's hot I become a terrible gardener when the heat comes in All right. The reason I'm dumping this over here on top of the cardboard is because I'm working on like a no dig type deal in this area. So it'll just be extra soil. I'll just leave here and cover it with mulch. All right, let's see what we ended up with. Some worms. A lot of good roots. Oh, there's our first potato. How exciting. All right, I'm gonna say this method was a win because we got some good potatoes out of this. And that's only the first plant. I did have a little rot in some of them. That one there has a little bit of rot on it, so I'll put that in my other pile. Oh, look at that. Beautiful.
Okay, now that one right there rotted out, which is gross, but it's bound to happen. It's growing it in a container. Oh, at least for a couple. I mean, for the amount I'm getting of rot compared to not, it's not that bad, not that big of a loss. And I did pull them pretty late. Those maybe would have survived better had I not pulled them so late. The appeal of this method was so that I wouldn't accidentally pierce anything with my forks. Because when you dig out potatoes, they can easily be pierced and then they're not going to be any good. I'm gonna toss some of this back where this bin was because there's actually a habitat of spiders over here and I don't want to disturb them because they do fantastic work in my garden. I'm just gonna cover them back up. All right, so there's our harvest. I have to go back and watch how many I actually put in there. I don't remember how many potatoes I actually put in there. Um, but for a small space, these are a really decent size, and that is not a bad harvest of potatoes, so that's very exciting. And mulching them up helped to not let them be exposed to the sun, so that was great while they were growing. And I definitely will try this again next year. Next year I might try fewer potatoes in the bin, though, but more varieties and more bins. So, yeah. Thank you so much for uh, stopping by to see this potato harvest. And I will see you next time. Bye.